Hi, this is Deborah Burton from metaphysicalrealm1.com and I'm going to discuss the three types of shungite in this video. This is type 1. It's called noble shungite, elite shungite, silver shungite. It is much lighter for its size than the other two types and it really cannot be shaped very easily, almost not at all. I do have some pendants in this. I have some rough in this. It's quite expensive. It's only 2% of the production of shungite each year. So it's hard to get a hold of. And I'm going to show you a couple of bigger pieces. This is a beautiful big piece. It reminds me, it looks a lot like the coal that we used to have in the house that I grew up in. We had a coal furnace. We had the hard coal, which I think is anthracite. And here's another bigger piece. So I have large pieces and small pieces of the rough. And like I said, I have um, some pendants as well, quite a few of them. I wear a pendant of this, as a matter of fact. And the Noble Shungite is up to 98% carbon. And the carbon is what the Shungite is. And the carbon contains fullerenes, which and a type of fullerenes, the type of fullerenes it contains are called buckyballs. They're kind of shaped like soccer balls. I always think of the soccer balls as like spinning around in the field of the Shungite, which is a big field around it, which we'll discuss shortly, and picking up all kinds of impurities, and the impurities would stick to the outside of the soccer ball like grains of rice that's what I picture in my head and come back to wherever they transmute the um, negative energy and go out and do it again and again and again and again selenite and shungite both constantly cleanse their area an area around them which is fairly large on a constant basis it doesn't stop they do different things their jobs are different the shungite helps you with the EMFs, the electromagnetic frequencies that we are all exposed to with the wireless things, the things we cannot see in the air. And that's why I always wear a necklace. I have tons of Shungite in the house, of course, to, and I have it around my computer and my router. And it's all type two that I use, not type one, except for I do have a pendant of type one, the Noble Shungite. Okay, so type two Shungite, is what we have here and see the pyramids there I have so many different sizes of pyramids I have Merkabas I have spheres I have lots of different shapes and I have them in different sizes a three inch base on a pyramid will send its energy out 10 and a half to 12 feet which is 32.3 centimeters to 37 centimeters so it goes out around it in quite an area. It would be a larger area with the Noble Shungite, but I don't have a mathematical formula I can really rely on for that. So I don't try and, and figure that uh, out, but I'm sure it's more. And so, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the difference between the three types. I just showed you the little piece of the Noble and it weighs 8.6 grams and I've got a piece of the type 2 shungite a tumble which is probably a little bit bigger but not a lot volume wise and it weighs 15.5 grams see how much lighter it is it is 55% lighter excuse me heavier that's 55% heavier than the noble shungite which is very, very light. It's only 8.6 grams compared to 15.5 grams. And then we have a third type of shungite called Petrovsky shungite, which is just a little bit lighter than the type 2. Um, the type 2, you, as you saw, you can get all kinds of shapes out of type 2. You can also shape the Petrovsky. I only have a few things in the Petrovsky. I have some tumbles, and I have some bracelets, I think. And that's it until I go to Denver. I'll be getting more Petrovsky there. The Petrovsky Shungite has 70 to 80% carbon. 
It's more expensive than the Type 2, which has 30% carbon. And remember, the, I don't know if I said it, the Noble Shungite has up to 98% carbon. So see the difference? The Type 1 Noble Shungite, up to 98% carbon. Type 2, 30 to 40% carbon, actually. Petrovsky Shungite, 70 to 80% carbon. I wear, um, I usually have a bracelet of the Petrovsky on my left wrist, but I'm not wearing it right now. I don't know why, but I normally do have a bracelet of it. So I like the Petrovsky because it's strong for the size of it. It's, it's much more powerful for the size of it. So there are the three types of Shungite. And of course, the larger the piece is, the more distance it will go out. 10 and a half to 12 feet for a three inch base on something is a lot of coverage for the EMFs. That's almost a whole room. In fact, it would be a small room. So it works well, it works over a large area. And if you have any questions, please contact me. I've been selling the Shungite for, I think, probably 10 years or close to it. It's not been on the market a huge long time in the U.S., but I've carried it for a very long time. I deal with a Russian couple that comes over to the Tucson shows and the Denver shows every year. They come to both shows, and they are the ones that I buy my Shungite from. They buy it, uh, they purchase it in Russia and they send it to Hong Kong to be shaped because it's less expensive to do it that way. So they give me very good prices as well. <laughs> so um, please go to the website and check out the Shungite. It's useful. And before I forget to mention it, when you first get pieces of Shungite, it is very likely that you will get a little bit of carbon powder on your hands until that piece has been held a little bit. Um, and then it will lose that. It will stop losing the carbon. But that tells you it's genuine shungite. You will see black powder on your fingers. You will know it's genuine shungite. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.